And now, your first alert weather. Well, we've had a lots of afternoon snow showers scattered across the region, but as we head further into the nighttime ahead, more of those snow showers will start to become, first of all, a lot more uh, concentrated around the areas of our mountains, and they're slowly going to become a lot more isolated and stray as we head into the next hour or two, and we'll actually have a pretty dry overnight for the majority of the region. Case in point, 33 degrees, overcast conditions right now in Idaho Falls. We might even picking out some of that sunlight even throughout some of those clouds as well with light winds at three miles per hour out right now. We'll take a look at the local radar here in just a second, but I want you not to get your hopes up that we're drying things out completely for the work week because we aren't. We have another round of rain and snow coming into the region from the Pacific Ocean heading in for the day tomorrow, mainly because we're staying put with this atmospheric river flow that is coming straight into our region. Comes all the way from well into the Pacific and then comes straight through Cal Northern California and then right up into Eastern Idaho and Western Wyoming. So you see we're almost on the trail end of the round number one that's pushing all its way on through to up towards Montana and further east into Wyoming. But we're starting to get again much more snow coverage into California right now and that's going to push right into our region here for the day tomorrow and further into the work week as we continue with this weather pattern staying in place. Right now, we still have plenty of snow showers out and around the region at the moment. We're getting snow showers into the upper Snake for Plain, most of it hanging out in the highlands just to the east of Rexburg and further east of areas like Blackfoot and Pocatello pushing further into Jackson Hole at the moment. We're also looking at snow showers across Mackey, Arco, and Sun Valley with a batch of rain showers out towards the Magic Valley down towards Rupert and Burley at this hour. This is going to get ten, continue to dry up in the next hour or two as we continue on throughout the nighttime ahead. You see by the time we reach 7, 8 o'clock, we're only looking at stray snow showers left along the Continental Divide and maybe uh, some of those up in the upper Snake River Plain up towards Island Park and out towards Jackson and the Tetons as well. So we dry things up into the overnight hours tonight and for the early morning hours of tomorrow before getting widespread snow showers back into the forecast around the lunchtime hour for tomorrow. And this is going to be widespread again throughout the entire region with maybe some rain showers into the extreme valleys of the Magic Valley throughout the day on Monday. And if you notice, we don't really dry up with this system until Tuesday. So we're looking at snow showers continuing Monday afternoon, Monday night, Monday overnight into Tuesday. This is going to stay with us for quite some time longer than what this system has stayed with us uh, throughout the day today. Now, heading into Tuesday, we'll have some isolated snow showers left around the region heading into Wednesday.